Hello guys, Jacob here and welcome in another video which is going to be about my relationship with my girlfriend from the Philippines and I will share our story, how we met, first time meeting in person and how is our relationship going so have a seat guys and enjoy this video so guys at first for those who are new on this channel and still doesn't know who I am my name is Jacob I'm from Czech Republic from Europe and I'm currently in a long distance relationship with my girlfriend Gwen look at her how pretty and amazing she is <coughs> we are both actually done with our studies in college my girlfriend is working and I finished my college a week ago and now I'm looking for a job so that was just a quickly introduction in this video and let's move on the story of that how we become a couple is quite interesting and I still can't believe this happened it was just very simple simple afternoon but it changed my life totally like my life turned about 180 degrees around and i'm super happy right now and how everything it started <coughs> the time we met was july 2020 those times i was working on a farm and that day I ended up early at work, which I was not keen on, so I came home and I was like thinking what I will do with the afternoon, with the free time, so I lay to the bed, I opened my phone and I remembered the website which we were using when we were younger and Omigo, so I was like, is this app still existing? Like, let's try and check it out so i went there and it started going crazy just like those many years before <coughs> people were skipping me you know guys for those who know this website that boys are doing quite disgusting things there but it's everyone's everyone's thing what they are going to do there but i just wanted to maybe talk or not even talk with anyone but everyone were just skipping me i did not even manage to say hello <coughs> and they skipped so i was like okay fine so i did not do anything and then at once there appeared a girl like very pretty girl and she did not skip me and we were just staring at each other and we did not even say hello we started typing and <coughs> those times i was like shy and careful i did not even say my real name i told Gwen that my name is john but lucky for me she told me her real name and also what's her work <coughs> way back then because after a couple of minutes the video call dropped and i lost her <coughs> but i really wanted to talk with her and try to find her so i immediately ran to the facebook and tried to find like the girl with the name Gwen and her work position and a bunch of the same names with same work position and I was scrolling scrolling when I finally found her and I really could not believe I was able to find her so I chatted her like hey Gwen John is here <laughs> John if you remember me we were chatting on Omegle and then she replied and everything started by this first message on facebook we started talking getting to know each other more and in a bunch of months we started have feelings to each other even through we didn't met in person we were able to fall in love with each other and we got into the long distance relationship those times those times way back 2020 it was the worst 
worst time to make a long distance relationship because December 2020 the coronavirus came and we knew that we will not see each other for a long time because I could not travel to the Philippines, she could not travel here to Europe so we were stuck in a long distance relationship but we were able to overcome this and this year 2022 in March we were able to meet for the first time <clears throat> so once the Philippines opened their borders for foreigners <clears throat> I immediately bought ticket get all the requirements vaccination insurance whole certificates that I needed and I went to the Philippines like it was actually my first travel by plane and like immediately almost half of the world around the half of the world immediately but like those times I was so motivated we both were very motivated that we can finally meet each other in person and before my flight to the Philippines we agreed that we will meet in the airport and we will be waiting we will meet each other in front of the huge star and I just arrived to the Philippines and it, I immediately went to find the huge star and everything started like she was not there and the horrible thoughts that time started coming through my head like oh my god this is all a huge scam she is not real she is not coming and now I have a return ticket to the Philippines for one month what I will do there for one month and horrible things and I was waiting five minutes ten minutes thirty and then I was like really losing my hope I was really thinking and I was totally lost I had no signal there no mobile data no Wi-Fi, nothing, I really did not know what I will do, but then I spot her there. She was very little being there wearing a pink, pink dress and once we saw each other, we immediately ran to each other, we hugged and the first second, in the first second I could really feel this will not be an embarrassing moment for none of us and Totally, it was amazing experience. So that's how was our <coughs> first meeting in the Philippines. And then we agreed, even before I was traveling there, that Gwen was living alone with her brother. Her other siblings were living in the village and we wanted some privacy, so we we rent condo in the in the city where we stayed together but <clears throat> because of that we were both busy from Monday to Friday when was going to work I was still about to finish my college so I was working on my graduation book getting ready for exams but during during weekends we always went for some trip for some adventure exploring the uh, the island Cebu of the Philippines so the first week we stayed here in Moal Boal as you can see in the videos it was a very nice place amazing long beaches pure crystal clear water like I really could not believe my eyes <coughs> uh, the second trip was in Oslo which is the bigger village in Cebu Island which is famous for swimming with the uh, whale sharks we spent there <clears throat> two days and I really enjoyed that and the other week we <clears throat> were staying in one of the most beautiful hotels in the in the Cebu city <clears throat> And the last week before my coming home, we went for the canyoneering, 
one of the also the most famous places in the Philippines, Kawasan Falls. Uh, the story from the canyoneering on Kawasan Falls you can see in my previous short clip videos. And also the other day of the weekend we went to the highest mountain of the Cebu Island, the Ospeña Peak which I really enjoyed because there at the in the mountains it was really like not hot weather it could be like 15 17 degrees so it was the first time of my stay in the Philippines I really could feel like here in Europe where it's not that hot but all of that was just an amazing experience <clears throat> and the other part of my stay there was that I was introduced to my girlfriend's family I felt like I was accepted they liked me I, we were talking each other we were visiting their uh, went family uh, quite often during a week after after our work we spent a bunch of time together and if I could say this whole trip to the Philippines is an unforgettable moment and it's one of the things you are really craving for when you are in the long distance relationship and you haven't met yet. But it brings me to the another moment of this one month stay in the Philippines and it was my leaving home to Europe the Czech Republic and we both know it will be like super hard if I just could I would stay there for one more month I would just extend my visa and I would stay there but because of my college I really need to come home <coughs> so the last day of my stay in the Philippines it was like very hard both of us spent the day crying we were like crying like little turtles but very sad but very happy in the same time you guys who are currently in a long distance relationship you will say that i'm right it's always the hardest part of the relationship the leaving but what makes you happy is that soon you will see each other again and you will be together <clears throat> so after my arrival home to Czech Republic I knew that I now have to focus for my college and things like that but during those times we were already planning what's going to happen in our long distance relationship <clears throat> uh, what we set up a plan that I was already in the Philippines and Gwen will arrive here to my country as well. Uh, we thought this is gonna be like super easy, just like for me to the Philippines, but because of the bunch of requirements Filipino people need uh, for getting Schengen visa so they can actually arrive here to European countries. The requirements are crazy, I will make another video about that, but it's really, it really makes me mad like how Filipino government, or if I can say it like that, they are making it super hard and super complicated for Filipino people to go outside. And it doesn't matter if it's for tourism, exploring, working, studying, it's still super complicated stupid for me but what we can do is only adapt and get over it so guys that's the story of our long distance relationship how it started how it's going and how we would like to make it in the future long distance relationship are hard and absolutely they are not for everyone 
many long distance relationships ended but the reason for ending the relation long distance relationship only because of that you cannot be together is just stupid guys for those who are currently in long distance relationship you need to believe that you can meet soon meet soon again and settle down if it would be possible you need to work hard for it uh, still nowadays in the 21st century thanks to all the technologies there is no problem with communication through messages video calls calls everything is accessible and everyone can do it and the reason for breaking up in the long distance relationship only because of that you cannot get the physical touch of your loved ones is just stupid and toxic and it only says about the person that he doesn't care about the love he or she doesn't care about the love and he only wants the physical touch which is quite sad but many cases are many cases like this happened but for those for for you guys who are currently in a long distance relationship let me be let us be with Gwen an example of that everyone can do that if you haven't met it in person just be patient working in together your time will come and I swear it will be the most unforgettable moments for you so <clears throat> I wish luck to all of the long distance relationship couples and also to the regular couples you all can make it and i am just curious if those if some of you guys who are watching this video and you are currently in a long distance relationship just let me know down in the comments i'm just curious how many of you are happily in the long distance relationship <coughs> So guys and here we are in the end of the video i hope it was at least a little bit interesting for you guys i opened myself for you even even if i'm very introverted person very shy person it's super duper hard for me to talk in a camera <clears throat> but we have to overcome our our fears the things which are uncomfortable for us so we can reach our goals so thank you again for watching guys and see you in the next video